Hey there, y'all. So, this is Rachel with Sons of Tempo Cane Corso. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about uh, littermate syndrome <clears throat> and explain a little bit about why it happens and ways that it can be avoided or circumvented. Um, so, as you can see, this is midnight here. She's hanging out by me. And um, we'll just your shoulders. And she's my dog um, out of this litter that I'm keeping. Um, she uh, she knows she's my dog. I've spent a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with her. And she um, picked up on that. And so, you know, like if, if she sees me petting the other dog, she always wants to come up and, and, and um, pet the other puppy. She wants me... To pet her instead so she'll come over and interrupt that by either pushing them out of the way or after I'm done petting them she'll come over and attack them as a way of trying to um, she's trying to discipline them to, to stay away from me watch out you guys watch out watch out watch out and um, and so um, and that would be a problem if I was keeping all of these dogs right because eventually that would escalate to her getting super possessive and um, even attacking the other dogs um, for me just petting them and for interacting with them, which is something that they need, right? They need love and stimulation and affection the same way that she does. So it's unavoidable. Um, so the reason why we are able to keep two females out of our litter is because I have given... Sorry, we had a huge storm. This is bothering me. We had a huge storm that knocked over all of our, all of our little furniture stuff. It's not very nice because the dogs chew on it, so <laughs> it's no point in getting night stuff. But anyway, so um, we can keep two because my daughter is keeping Blondie, and so she is able to give her that one-on-one -on -one attention that she really needs to be fulfilled. Um, yes, I see you, sugar. I see you, and. Um, in a way that that doesn't make her feel left out or unloved while I'm able to focus my energy on midnight and give her the love and affection that she needs without feeling singled out or unloved. Um, now, if I was to try to keep this little brindle female here, I would have really big problems out of midnight and her, right? Because midnight isn't going to tolerate it. Now, I can discipline midnight for that, right? I can... I can do that, but it is much more difficult than it would be if I was to just keep one. And you have to really be on top of your game as far as knowing um, canine body language because usually the behaviors that prerequisite a fight are unseen to the, to the average person, right? They don't notice the behaviors that indicate that there's fixing to be a major conflict, especially as the dogs get older. A lot of it is um, nonverbal body language. So that's why a lot of people say, don't get two puppies from the same litter because the odds of you being able to give each of them the attention that they deserve is probably pretty slim and even if you are able to the odds that they're going to want to fight to be um, the one the main recipient of the um, love and attention is going to be big because they see themselves as peers they're on equal ground so there's no reason for them not to challenge each other for possession of you and so in order to do it you basically have to kind of be a lot tougher than most people want to be when they have a puppy. They want to dote on it and love on it and, um, you know, spend a lot of time with it. But whenever you're keeping multiple dogs from a litter, you have to be very careful about that because when you're giving too much attention to one dog, then the other one gets jealous and, um, and you end up kind of having to do a hands-off, um, not really give too much affection and do a lot of training. And it's just not... It's not ideal for people who are looking for a family member to add to their home just to love on. <clears throat> so that's why most people, um, most breeders and, um, you know, enthusiasts, breed enthusiasts, will try to convince people not to get two dogs from the same litter. But having said that, if 
your family is willing to um, dedicate two people to the care and primary um, like affection source for that dog, it can be done. You just have to, um, you can't allow competition for anything. You have to, I mean, just like it would be, sorry pups, just like it would be if it was a, if you had two kids, right, two twins, you can't let them fight any, because because it's just going to escalate. It's just going to get worse, right? One may beat the other, but then it just makes the other one incentivized to beat the other one. So you begin to have a sibling war. So if you want to do, I know, sugar, if you want to do it, make sure that, you know, like let's just say that you're a family. Well, then one kid gets one dog. The other kid gets the other dog. They're both responsible for making sure that each dog is respectful to the other one. They don't get in each other's food. They don't get in each other's space. They don't dominate one another and they get proper obedience training so that they are good, well-behaved dogs that are under control and you can totally do it. Um, it only becomes a problem when there's only one source of affection and there's a weak leadership in the household. So that's just a tip if you indeed are dead set on trying to get two puppies from the same litter. There is a way to do it, but it takes work. You have to do your research and you have to be do, willing to do the work necessary. And then once you get that foundation work in, um, like anything in life, eventually they mature, they know the ways of the world, and they behave themselves, and they um, will stop trying to fight and stop trying to do all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, and, and, it, and, it, and it also helps if they're the only two dogs. Like, let's just say hypothetically you get two males <clears throat> and, you know, they're not neutered, but then you have a female that's not spayed. Well, there's nothing you can do about that. Even the best of us can't keep males from fighting um, when there's um, dogs in heat involved. It's just they don't you're not working with the conscious mind. You're working with a very hormonal primal mind and they just don't think with the kind of brain that you can train. Um, it's very instinctual. So, um, you know, if you're going to do that, it's okay if you have two males that are not neutered, as long as you're a very um, good dog owner and you don't allow any types of aggression or dominating. Um, and that can even include not letting them pee all over each other's pee. You know, it literally can get to that extent. When I first got my dog Preacher, I had another dog named Terrible. He passed away from cancer uh, last year. And, um, and when, when, when Preacher started to get older, Terrible, my original dog, started to go and compete with him by peeing on all of his pee all the time. And I noticed it and I made him stop because that would have escalated to more than that. So if you notice those little things early on and you prevent them from going on, then, because he, I'll just say this, he knows what he's doing, okay? It may seem simple to you, but he knows exactly what he's doing. So when you discipline him for trying to pee on the other dog's pee constantly, um, what I would do to him is if, if I saw him try to do it, I would go over, I would make him go to submissive posture, I would tell him he was a bad dog, and I would make him go inside or go lay down in his spot. He couldn't go out and keep peeing on stuff. He lost his ability to do that. Blondie, psh. And so, um... And so anyway, so you just got to be really aware, you got to be paying attention, and if you're on the spot, ready to go, um, you know, keeping an eye and keeping everybody in line, you're not going to have any problems, and you can do it if you follow those steps. Um, so that's my best advice for people um, who, who want to get multiple dogs, or even not even from the same litter. It can just be two puppies of the same age, or even around the same age. This the same thing can happen, so it's not just siblings, keep that in mind. Okay, you guys have a great day, and uh, we're going to get inside because it's a super hot day here in Texas.